Hello. Thank you again for coming back uh, to one of my vlogs. Uh, in this vlog, I'm going to show you a quick recipe of how I do very healthy protein filled cheesecakes that help to create, to kill the craving for the sweets for me a little bit. Uh, we also went to Metallica concert. Rock on, sister! <laughs> So uh, I'll show you some highlights of that too. It's very loud, so just an FYI, if you're not ready, just scroll it away. We went to a jam show and I saw a bunch of crystals and really cool little things. So I did some highlights of that too. I hope you'll enjoy it. Hello, hello. Today I wanted to show you how I make these um, cheesecakes. Um, as you know, I'm I've been losing weight forever now <laughs> and one of the things that I found out is that you should always fill up on protein, uh, consume less processed foods, less sugar, less fat. Of course, natural occurring sugars and fats are completely normal and you need, you need them in your system, uh, but just less of it being processed food. So today I'm going to show you how to make this super loaded with protein cheesecake that has very little sugar. We're going to use some dried fruit in it. I do like to sometimes top these with some low sugar jams too. And it works just perfect too. Daryl has been really enjoying them too. Right Daryl? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's see how we make it. Uh, for the ingredients, I usually use them by my eye measurements. <laughs> just to be honest, I usually just uh, use about uh, half a kilo or just over one pound of farmer's cheese. Then I like to use some um, fresh um, dried fruit. I do suggest you wash it uh, because oftentimes it's soaked in sugar. Then we're going to use some unsweetened, preferably unsweetened uh, milk. I use almond milk specifically for the purpose of not having <laughs> sugar in it. I like to add uh, coconut cooking oil. It's unflavored, unrefined. I add um, unsweetened most of the time. <sighs> Meal replacement or um, protein powder. Probably vanilla is the best because it's the most neutral. <laughs> then we'll need two eggs for either two packages or one package. And we'll need some fat-free, sugar-free, plain uh, Greek yogurt. Then you'll need some kind of a form. I buy these silicone forms on Amazon. I'll, I'll share a link with you here. I would suggest using just a plain one too though. But these silicone ones, I have to say, they really help. And you need a, a deep bowl, a mixer, and make sure make sure to preheat your oven to 380 or 375. All right, so I put two packages of my uh, farmer's cheese in there. Now we're going to add both eggs. Then I'm going to start adding my yogurt. It's hard to do with one hand, so I would do a huge scoop like this usually. Again, I usually add as I go. You're basically looking for a somewhat more liquid uh, cheesecake batter. Okay, so you see how still thick it is? So this is why we would need other things in it. Coconut oil, a couple of splashes like this. I'll start adding my milk now. Okay, let's try to blend it in. Let's see how this looks. It's much more liquid now, which is perfect. Okay, I'm adding just a tiny bit of vanilla extract. It's probably half a teaspoon, I would say. Now we're taking our full-on scoop of powder and blend it in again. Nice. You see it all ingredients in here now. Okay. Now we're just going to add in our fruit. As you can tell, I, I did not um, spray or put anything into my form. Uh, cheesecakes are quite, quite wet, so most of the time they don't stick unless they start burning. So just watch, watch the time. Okay. So we'll just make sure that it's all nice and filled. 
Again, this is not a perfection. This is not a perfect cake. <laughs> Put it just like this and we will time it for 60 minutes. All right, so here's our cake an hour later. Let's test it out. So now we're going to leave it here for a few hours and then we're going to cool it in the refrigerator for a few hours, okay? So this is what we end up with. This is our chilled cooked cheesecake. You can see some pieces of the fruit that we cut up. It looks pretty good, it looks very healthy, doesn't it? <laughs> so by not having too much sugar inside the pie, you can be less careful with it, <laughs> I guess. Um, but I would uh, recommend actually topping it with different jams if you wish to add some flavor to it. So for example, I like um, the ones that have the least amounts of sugar per ta tablespoon. It works just enough. It gives you uh, the curbing effect of your sweet tooth. And it's just perfect for that. I hope it was interesting for you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hello! Hey! So tonight we're going to see Metallica! It's super exciting! And like real responsible adults, we're pre-gaming and we're gonna get a car and get there. Then we're gonna rock out. <laughs> Let's go check it out! So we're like on the fifth floor of the stadium. Let's forget to enjoy the view. <laughs> we keep walking though. Who here is your very first Metallica show? Well, it's kind of more new to you. That's, that's scary. Does that mean we're going to have to play another 36 years? Oh, good lord, look at it. <laughs> a lot of fun at Metallica concert. Did you like it? Loved it. It was awesome. It was pretty awesome. So, we're gonna go get a lift now because it's like enormous amounts of people everywhere. So, yeah, we're gonna get home now. Yeah, shit was hot. Yeah. It was awesome. Look, my hair is totally having it. Like, I'm having a mohawk moment. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at this. Beautiful. Okay. Hello. So today we're going uh, to a jam show in Towson, Maryland. Mm -hmm. And it's surprisingly in the armory, so that's interesting. It's quite a combination. I know. So let's go check out some jams. It's rocks. I like this one. I 
Look at these cool ones. They look like different formations all together. Isn't that cool? These look like little hedgehogs. Little hedgehogs! <laughs> They're so nice and polished. Look at that. Wow. This is petri petrified wood. I was looking at some labradorites. I don't have any in my collection. Except for one ring. And it's really nice glow to it. Oh, these look yummy. These look like dark chocolate. <laughs> Don't they? Look at this little tiny fella in this little box. Daryl has been really appreciating the boxes. Because they're tiny and cute. <laughs> Here's a bismuth, I think it's called bismuth. That's a man made crystal. And it comes with like little formations. These are super, super cool looking. Aren't they? You can see little colorful structures. They look super futuristic. Look at that. They're real. That is amazing. I'm the only guy in the country doing this. You get a picture. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's telling me I belong in Tucson. My goodness. I am so technically challenged when it comes to this shit. I mean, I'm being truthful about it. That's good. I way still, you get it. I still, I still hate learn. You know, doing all the yeah, the Facebook and social media. I don't to do it. <laughs> and I call. Awesome. Where can we find you? On Facebook, basically. What's the name? Doug Stover. Where, where we find, where we find the big teeth, I use the clay marks that had the burnt wood in it. Mm. That works. Jerry goes, nobody's thought of it. I said, that's where we're going to find big teeth. That's right. Wow. 